Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD. In the last episode, we continued exploring Pyrite Town here, and we started our first battle here in the Battle Square. So starting off this episode, I will show this, this battle here, just because it's a battle, why not? Um, but I will probably cut out at least you know, like one or two of the other battles, just because they don't have any shadow pokemon so yeah we'll, we'll get a little bit of mileage out of uh, this area and then after that i believe our our last piece of business here will to that nah, will be to go to the onbs building and see net about the data wrong so okay, shroomish is not a very good look here we have slugma who is a fire I think he's just fire. His evolution mag cargo is fire rock. So we should be good with a rock tomb. Uh, and I will switch out Trumish. Yeah, hand hour. Uh, I'll let Baltoy handle the slugma. Uh, and hopefully if he was trying to target Shroomish with a fire type move, we will absorb that pretty nicely. So I think that's probably the best we can do. Hopefully this will do... Okay, well, it did over half. Um, which means next time that I try to use it, it will miss. But that's just my luck. And it's going for a light screen. Wonderful. I think Rock Tomb is a physical move. Although, I guess... I think Rock was a physical type. Because before the physical special split... So I think it is going off a of regular attack. So hopefully that won't affect us too much. Um, Bane attack, however, it will decrease the effectiveness of that. So we'll see if we'll actually be able to take it out. Okay, it, it didn't matter. At least in that case. There goes a not too. Baltoy is finally level 20. Let's see what we got on the stats. I mean, I guess pretty even across the board. Um, I'm looking more for special attack and special defense on him. At least I think it... it oh, right. Ball toy. Doesn't really have a gender. Because it's kind of a toy that's become animated. So there. So we didn't miss, you know, as I was kind of expecting. And now we have an Oddish that is so screwed! Because we have Psybeam, which targets its poison type uh, that is weak to Psychic. And we have Ember, so I think Ember's probably going to go first, and it's going to take it out. You will remember my name. Or rather, you will know our names, and that actually did not take it out. Oddish, why are you so tanky? I don't remember you being very tanky. It was, it was still kind of screwed regardless. But. Okay, so that was, that was a good battle. Didn't encounter much difficulty there. Oh, we had to lose. And he just falls over. Are, are you okay, sir? Are you sure you didn't faint? I mean, I did make the last girl cry. Alright, oh. Shroomish cannot be purified. So we are going to go and do that right away. Pronto. Post haste. Immediately. Because I, I want to get that done. We... Uh, for one, while it's still a shadow Pokemon, it is stuck at its current level, so it is eternally level 15 until we purify it. So we want to be able to cash in all that experience that we've been trying to get on it. For one, and then two, uh, it won't be able to evolve, you know, until we start leveling it. So I really want to get to Breloom, because that's when it really becomes useful. So I believe it'll get it'll get a funny type move when it evolves there. And if not, then we could probably teach it something. I'm pretty sure there's a Brick Break TM somewhere in this game. I don't remember exactly where. But we will purify it here at the Relic Stone since it's actually in our party. Plus, we need to give this place a little bit of love. Because from here on out, the Purify Chamber kind of makes... Uh, the Relic Stone obsolete, in a way. Um, the amount of time that it takes to get to it from you know, the world map entrance point is probably about the same. But I mean, you can just go into the Purified Chamber, just put the Pokemon in your party in a slot, 
and then just immediately purify it there. So it's really not any more of a hassle than just coming here with it in your party. So unfortunately for, you know, the Relic Stone, as much as, you know, it, it, it's a cool artifact and everything, we won't be using it all that much. I, I will try to give it a little bit of love every now and then, though. Because I, I will kind of feel bad for just not coming to Agate Village for, you know, <laughs> reasons uh, outside of, I don't know, maybe doing the daycare once that opens up. I mean, there's really not much in Agate Village aside from the Relic Stone and the daycare, because a, a lot of places have shops. But yeah, let's go back to Pyrite. And I totally glossed over what you know, levels and moves it got back when I was purified because I was just talking. So I'm going to go look at those. It, it's only level 16. Okay, so we we need to uh, get this guy some experience. Because he, he needs it. So let's see. It looks like we have False Swipe, which actually is really useful for catching Pokemon because it will never kill them unless they're already at 1%. 1%. 1 HP. As it says right there. And we got we got stun spores. Well, yeah, we already we already had that. So I guess we got refresh. Which eh. That'll probably be the first thing to go. Followed by stun spore. But now that we've done that, I think I will take on a few of the other trainers and I will I will cut out here. I'll save you guys. The trouble of me battling so i will meet you back after i have battled these people unless something like really interesting happens in these battles but i kind of doubt that it will so if you guys are wondering why i'm cutting in here it's because after our first battle uh, carvana is now ready to be purified so i'm coming back here to purify can purify chamber to do that yeah that first battle was not very interesting at all that trainer had all normal type Pokemon, and since I don't have a fighting type Pokemon, or fighting type moves yet, it was kind of a slog. So, it was not the most interesting thing to watch or to do. And we did get some good experience. Baltoy got grew to level 17, so that's a plus. And I think Vaporeon actually got a level 2, so it's now level 21. But uh, Carvana... Got back some moves, and got a ribbon. Yay! So, now that he's purified, uh, we can start working on the last one that we have at the moment, uh, which is Spinarak. Yes, actually, I want to continue editing sets. So we will take you, put you in. Uh, we should be able to rotate you for him, so you can get you know, super effective there. And for now, I guess we'll just put our Carvana in the future normal set just to get a little bit more tempo. Because we don't have any other Pokemon that we could start a new set with. And this set's already at max tempo. That's really the most important thing. If you can get bonuses on the flow, then, you know, it's good. But you know, the, the only thing you really need to optimize is just getting the tempo all the way up. So you're just getting all the, the light blue lines. So we're making quick work of this purification. Uh, you, can, you can start to see how I work. Once we get later on in the game and we actually have more sets to work with, I'll be purifying Pokemon left and right. Uh, that feature, the Purify Chamber, makes the game so much more enjoyable. And it just takes so much of the hassle out of trying to purify all the Shadow Pokemon. It was definitely the thing that Colosseum kind of needed to make it better. But, now that we've done that, I will return to battles and I will see you probably after I'm done with those now. Oh. Wonderful! I guess I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> the game just did not want me to cut out. So Gulpin's ready to be purified. Actually, if that's the case, that means I'm. I think I'm gonna take the Del Caddy out of the. No, oh, I, sh I sh probably should have gone to Agate, but oh well. I guess we're just going straight back. You know, we <laughs> went to the HQ lab, left, and then now we're just coming straight back. But 
yeah, I think I'll take that out of that purification just so I can have it with me because it's probably the most powerful shadow Pokemon that we still have that is still a shadow Pokemon. So we will just go to an empty set here, uh, open up our party. That, that is exactly what I did not want to do. I am smooth. So I'll just take him to set three. Ow, of course. I'll just steal him for a second. And we'll go to the Purify Chamber. The actual hologram disc step thingy in Purify. So that'll be another guy that we can use in a set. Although, he doesn't really work well with Carvana at the moment. We could put in a grass type in between him and Carvana. That would work. And then I guess we could do like a ground in between Carvana and Gulpin. Because ground is super effective against poison, but weak to water. So he learned Shockwave, which is really interesting because that is an electric type move. But uh, we are not going to nickname him. At least I think it's a him. I'm not sure. I didn't think it polite to ask. So now, uh, how do we want to do this? I guess we will take you, and we'll just put you in that set for now, because we really don't, we don't really have anything else to do at the moment. Heck, we don't even have any Shadow Pokemon to work with at this point, since I'm putting the Delcaddy in my party, and, you know, the Spinarex already over a bar down and we just put him in so man this thing works fast but now I will cut out and see you after those battles and there's basically no way I can get interrupted by purification this time so I'll see you then all right so I've made an executive decision I'm gonna show this last battle here uh, because this guy is apparently French bonjour did you know my Pokemon, I, my Pokemon and I match très bien? I don't think I can ever lose now. I'll show you my aggressive style. But yeah, I, I decided, you know, it's, it'll be a good place to end the episode after here, after this battle, uh, just because in terms of recording time, I'm at about 24 minutes, um, even though I will be cutting out a, a, a decent chunk of it. Um, this might be a shorter episode, but Hey, I've been trying to make these episodes kind of shorter anyways, because, uh, oh, this guy only has two Pokemon. Lovely. Now I shouldn't use, I should use Slaithy. It's already level 22, but I'm going to anyways. But, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to make the episodes like around 20 minutes, and then I just end up doing stuff, and then sometimes they end up being 22, 24-ish most of the time. Or sometimes, in the extreme cases, like 30. Uh, but, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, we've already taken out one of this guy's Pokemon. And the other one will be coming maybe soon. Okay, you targeted Boltoy. Not really the one I was as concerned about. Uh, he does have Psybeam, which will be super effective. But the reason I switched out to Flafy is because Tentacool is part Poison. I mean, heck, that's the reason why it's weak to Psychic. But Grass would not have been super effective against it. Plus, the only offensive Grass move that we have right now is Mega Drain. And hey, uh, both of actually went first <laughs> and almost killed it. But uh, Mega Drain, which I just bumped my mic again. I am really, really bad about that as of late. All right, he's level 21. That's good. But yeah, it, it might have the ability uh, Liquid Ooze, which if somebody tries to drain HP from you, uh, they actually get hurt that amount that they would have recovered instead. So that's the reason I didn't want to do that, because it would have... One, I wouldn't have gotten any damage, um, I, I don't think. Or it might still do damage, but you get hurt, I don't remember. Uh, future me can clarify that. But... Yeah, so I, I just want to do it for that reason. Um, so that's why I swash, swapped out. I'm going to heal up here, um, and then after that, we'll take a quick look at how the uh, Pokemon team is doing. Uh, just because I have cut out some level ups and such. 
Uh, and then we will stop this episode right in front of the ONBS building. So, let's take a look at the party. Alright, so Baltoy is now level 21. Uh, he is now at the same level as everyone except uh, Flavy. He has those moves. Um, Shroomish is now level 18. Uh, I'm probably going to be keeping him out front for a while until he starts getting to comparable levels. Uh, we have Flafy, which you know, he hasn't really changed. Uh, neither is Houndour, uh, Vaporeon, and then uh, Dunkettie's new. But actually, ooh, I have Shadow Rush now. That, that's another reason to have Delcaddy on that team. <laughs> it's because Shadow Rush is pretty darn powerful at this point in the game. So... With that, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon XD. I have been Red X Parasite, signing out.